the challenge at first didn't seem that complicated. All I had to do was attach this module to this alarm clock that projects the time on the ceiling and hopefully make this work with So here's how I took it apart. I grabbed this little gizmo right here and I prop around here and there is double stick tape behind there. I used the guitar pick just to work my way around it gently, slowly from the top. Finally, got the glass out. The double stick tape was all around the edge right here. Then I found there was like six screws right in there. There are the little screws right there. There are six little screws. Got those out. Then picked right up here. I'm sorry, I'm doing this with, uh, I'm gonna unplug it. There it is. Oh yeah, hold on. All right, unplug it. Screws out. So now I'm going to try to connect that module to this switch to make it work with. Well, got the module to work. Look at that side of the job. Nothing to brag, but it got done. The black wire was not needed. All you needed was the white and the red wire connected to the left and the center prong on the on and off switch. Let me uh, plug the module so you know what I'm talking about. And there's the module plugged in. See how it came on right away. I have it on 10 seconds uh, on and off right now. You'll see it'll turn off and it'll turn back on. Here it goes. I'm gonna reroute that wire same way these wires are right here. And I'm gonna put a little hole right there because the module will not fit inside the housing. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the switch, if I were to um, flip it on, you see how it came on right there? It comes on. The module won't affect if you wanna leave it on the whole time. It stays on. Right there, it's open. Let's see when it closes or turns off. However, they have this figure out. See, it stays on won't affect it. But if I were to switch it, turn it off, and it's gonna come right back on. Boom, there it is. And here it is, I got the wire fished right through there. The little hole, and the wires are on the outside. This still spins freely the way it's supposed to be. The wires are in there. Let's start closing this thing up. I'm getting ready to attach the module to the back of the alarm clock, but the feet that came with the module were a little bit big, so I had to trim them. This module is much bigger than that section right there. I'm gonna use a double sticky tape to attach it to it. I just attached the module and I programmed it to program number six, P6, and I gave it 1,440 minutes which is 24 hours. On close, I did a tenth of a second because it'll never close. It'll turn off by the power strip using... She's listening. Stop listening. Um, mm -hmm. And I only put one loop, so there, it's working. It's done, I'll put back together. I wish that module was a little bit smaller. I would have somehow tried to put it inside the housing, but that was not an option, by the way. That power strip is the one that I'm gonna use in voice command. And let me try to make it work, see if it works. I'm gonna turn the lights off so you can see it. 
projection on. There it is. It came on. It's in the ceiling right there. Projection off. And I think I'm done. Success.